Hey guys, it's Jane here from Legend Gaming. In this video, we got some information on the French DLC coming out in March for Battlefield 1. So on Twitter, they actually released an image, sort of like a concept art image of one of the maps. And this map sort of looks like a close quarters bunker operation locker like map and it'd be really awesome if we got a super close quarters map like that in Battlefield 1. Not sure how well it worked out considering all the gas grenade spam and other spam in this game and as you can see right here the crossbow spam would be real but it does look like a pretty cool map and the reason why we can tell it's French is because there are French flags on the map and it also reveals some more about what kind of weapons we're going to be getting in this DLC. So I'm going to put the image up and as you can see, there's a bunch of soldiers here shooting at each other. Um, the French flags are on the walls. You can kind of see the sort of ruin on the side of the walls. And one thing in particular that we can see is a gun that the guy's holding. And that's a gun that's not in Battlefield 1. So I'll talk a bit more about that in a little bit. But what else we can talk about this is this is likely in France in a bunker. So... I'm wondering whether this will be just an outside map or the other team, one team will start outside, the other team will start in the bunker and it'll sort of be like an attackers and defenders thing. We really don't know yet. Hopefully they're going to release more teaser images soon so we can sort of fill in the puzzle on this because there isn't too much to go off in this picture. Now the one thing that sort of confirms a new DLC weapon is this specific zoomed in part. So this is the Shosho M1915 LMG and I have a real life clip of this of this being fired right here. So as you can see it's a very slow firing LMG with sort of like a semicircle drum at the bottom. Now we can obviously infer from this that this will be for the support class so we're going to get a support class weapon. Um, it'd be nice if we got one weapon for each kit in the new DLC because I'm assuming we're going to get a sniper too because there's so many snipers that they can put into this game. And uh, I'm actually really liking the support class right now also as you can see in these clips. I use it a lot on operations and stuff and especially the Madsen MG is a pretty slow firing heavy hitting uh, support gun. And I feel like the Shosho would be even slower firing because in real life it has a fire rate of around 250 rounds per minute. But it would also be even heavier hitting and I think it might be the highest damage gun in the game because of how slow it fires. Well, probably not more than the semi-autos but probably pretty close. Now, I'm assuming we're also going to get a pistol. I mean, what, you could see a pistol that a French person or a French soldier is holding in the image, but I mean, we can't really tell if it's a new pistol because it looks like the M1911. It looks like the one of the other pistols as well, but we can't really tell from an image this far away what specifically it is. If you guys enjoyed this video, just sort of telling you some of the new news that we got for Battlefield 1. Tomorrow I'm going to probably do a video on Hardline or a stream, but then I'm also going to do a video on custom games. And what kind of custom games do you guys want? I want to do a video where I sort of just talk about potential custom games in Battlefield 1, because I have a pretty awesome one I want to talk about. But that's what it is for you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop a like down below, and I'll see you guys next time.